Hey up folks, Simon here. Hope you're all having a pleasant day today and welcome to our next Final Fantasy VIII Remastered video. Today I'm going to be explaining to you how you can get two rare cards, the Alexander card and the Laguna card. Very nice cards. Uh, the Alexander card is also important, however, because it is used as part of the Queen of Cards side quest. So if you're only going to get one for whatever reason, just make sure it's that one. Now the two NPCs we're going to be playing today will be using the Lunar Regent rules. If you've been following along with my videos recently, you should have abolished pretty much all of the nasty rules from the Lunar Region. But if you haven't and you find yourself in space when you watch this video, so you can't really do a whole lot about the rules, then make sure you save your game and at least try and abolish the random rule. That will at least make the games manageable so that you can go ahead and win the two rare cards and then you can sort out the rest of the rules later on. Uh, but if you're not yet in space, if you're still around Esther, then take that opportunity opportunity to get all of the rules abolished random plus same get open spread you can do all that before heading over to the scene where we then switch over to control with squall up in space Anyway, folks, the first of our two opponents today is going to be this cheeky fellow here known as Piet. And Piet is going to be present and accounted for the moment we finish the opening cutscenes and enter into the spaceship. However, I don't advise actually battling him, as I never do when it comes to trying to get these rare cards, until we've had opportunity to save. Unfortunately, there is a save point a little bit further in the spaceship. So just go through the opening dialogue in this particular room here. And then once that's over with, we'll be able to just head out into the spaceship proper uh, and at that point we'll find a save point but just be careful because we'll have Renoa on our back and if we enter the room after the save point that's actually going to kickstart the story a little bit further and it's possible that Pia might not be available for play now he should be later on but at least for this part of the game we don't want to advance things any further than we need to at this time so as you can see, because of the fact that I managed to abolish a load of rules before heading into space, I'm only having to put up with sudden death, which is not really a rule we have to worry about. Now, because we've abolished those rules, Piet himself is a bit of a pushover. A lot of people say that it's quite challenging, but I mean, eh, look at these cards really. Outside of the Alexander card, the rest of the cards are super weak. I think people struggle with this one because historically, you know, you generally don't abolish rules before you get into space, and you generally just abolish random before playing him but using the method that I've used just makes this a hundred times easier in my opinion it really does so Alexander is obviously the card that we're after it's a nice card actually and like I say you do not want to card mod it because of the fact it's going to be used as part of the Queen of Cards side quest later but if you don't want to uh, worry about that quest then you still might want to keep the Alexander card just you know for general playing use because of its powerful stats Anyway, once we've gone ahead and played Piet and won the Alexander card, which he might not play immediately, though he did for me, uh, we're just going to advance the story a little bit more until we leave this room and follow Piet onwards. And as we follow Piet, he ends up going across there into the control room. We're going to leave him for the time being, instead making our way up these stairs. And in this next area, the upside down room, um, we're going to head across into the across the corridor into the final room, where a familiar face is going to be waiting for us. Yes, it is alone. Fortunately, she doesn't care about having reintroductions. We can just go straight on ahead with the card game. Uh, again, she's going to be using the Lunar Region rules. Now, guys, this is really important. And this is why I do recommend if you can abolishing rules before even come into space. Um, this is, as far as I'm aware, the only opportunity to win the Laguna card from alone. Now, that's because once we advance the story and alone becomes part of the story, she will no longer play cards with us which means that we need to play against her during this very small window here. Now, unfortunately as well, Laguna is quite a rare card, um, which means that she's probably not going to play all that often. Now, during my live stream, she played it on the second attempt, which was not too bad. Uh, but once I reloaded my save file to play through again, well, actually, I deleted my save file by mistake and had to play through again. Uh, the next occasion that I tried to battle her, it took eight attempts before she finally played the Laguna card. So, yeah, it can be a bit of a nuisance. But stick at it and eventually it's going to be yours. One thing to note about the Laguna card, you can actually card mod it if you're not going to use it because of the fact that it's not going to be used as part of the Queen of Cards side quest. And the good thing about card modding the Laguna card is you do get 100 hero items, which is a fantastic item since it makes a character invincible in battle once it's used. Uh, one thing to note, however, is that since you can only hold 100 of any one item, if you do have any hero items, it is worth selling them off to make a little bit of guilt before actually card modding the Laguna card, just so you don't waste anything. 
Anyway, folks, that's the two cards that we've collected now, Laguna and Alexander. Just make sure you keep Alexander in your card collection for the time being. I hope the video has helped you. If it has, don't forget to drop a like. Let me know if you managed to get both of these cards down in the comment section. And I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy VIII. Have a great day.